Hello traders, FX Pepcoletti here. Today is Wednesday, April 26, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link for that can be found up here in the corner. So on the pound dollar monthly, I still believe that this is going to grow into an uptrend. I think it's going to go up and take out these highs, most likely be either a big wave A or possibly a big wave 1. Either way, whether it's an A or whether it's a 1, definitely doesn't matter to me right now, because either scenario, I'm going to be looking for longs on sort of time frames. So taking it down even more to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can start to see the higher highs, higher lows that make up the wave 1. I still believe this move down is a wave 2 and I believe that we are in a wave 3 right now. If this is a wave 3 then it will continue to make higher highs, higher lows and just keep on going up. Probably eventually finishing the 3 making a 4 and a wave 5. So taking it down even more let's head down to the daily. On the daily time frame, you can see we broke structure to the upside right here, and then we had a pullback. I do believe that this pullback, it may be over. As you can see, it never broke structure to the downside. The trend is definitely still up, and I believe this is all part of a wave three. I believe that it will go up. I'm sure we'll have some reactions to some of these Fibonacci levels, some pullbacks, but I'm pretty sure that it will just keep on making higher highs and higher lows and just keep on trending up. So taking it down even more to the four hour time frame, for our time frame, we definitely had a very consolidated choppy week last week, but there is some clarity in it. We have impulsive down wave A. This is like an A, B, C, D, E of wave B, and then this is a downtrend for the wave C. The wave C made a higher low and a nice impulsive move up. That to me looks like it almost definitely is the end of a crescent, and that this is just going to keep on trending up, making them higher highs and higher lows. So taking it down even more to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, you can't really see the structure on this time frame. You almost got to go to the 30 minute to see the lower lows, lower highs in this move down. But if the we do have a higher low right here, and I'm sure there's a break of structure on the next sort of time frame, I do believe that is the end of a crescent. Bounced right off to 61% Fibonacci extension. Looks to me like a 1, 2, and 3. <coughs> Excuse me. So I do believe this is the end of a crescent. I definitely wouldn't be trying to go long now. I would definitely be waiting for some sort of a pullback. But if we see some sort of a pullback like an ABC down, then I would definitely take that as a long opportunity for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.